Now, Arunima, just as uh, the ED is going to be uh, looking at wanting or seeking uh, Sanjay Singh's custodial interrogation, a shot in the arm really coming for his legal counsel, given that now there is a precedent that came in just two days ago from the Supreme Court, something that uh, Sanjay Singh's counsel would cite as to why non-cooperation can't be the only grounds for custodial interrogation. Yes, and uh, you can uh, expect the defense team of Sanjay Singh actually to point it out to the uh, you know, special CBI judge there uh, that if the reason for arrest last night was because Sanjay Singh was not cooperating, then this reason already has an observation uh, from the Supreme Court. But the ED officials insist that that's not the only reason. They felt that Sanjay Singh's custodial interrogation is required. After carrying out the searches yesterday for 8 to 10 hours, uh, he was questioned. And after those questioning, they felt that he needs to be brought here to the ED office office and questioned in custody. ED officials, part of the investigating team, say that he could be confronted with approvers. There are at least three approvers uh, who have given crucial insight to the ED team. Things that they have said, we've already reported on what Dinesh Arora said about Sanjay Singh's role. Uh, while we have not heard of any direct evidence to suggest that Sanjay Singh was part of the conspiracy, alleged conspiracy to tweak the liquor policy, there seems to be some evidence to suggest that he was uh, prevailing upon these accused to contribute to the party fund. Now, is this a crime? Um, was money laundered? Because ED's main paradigm of investigation is money laundering. Are they accusing Sanjay Singh of laundering money, uh, round-tripping money and, and uh, making black into white and helping the Yamadmi party's coffers in that way? Uh, they, they seem to suggest that there is evidence to that effect and that is why custodial interrogation is required. They wish to confront him with the documentary and digital evidence that was gathered over the last uh, you know, eight hours. Hours. Uh, you know, in, in the uh, when they were raiding Sanjay Singh's residence for eight hours, the, the evidence that they collected, and even before that, if you recall, his aides were searched, uh, and there was recovery from them as well. So they want to confront Sanjay Singh with all of that. Right, and that's really what. Uh the counsel for the enforcement directorate is really citing in court even as we speak. Uh, they're talking about a transaction that was worth 2 crore rupees, something that Dinesh Arora had spoken of when he was uh, questioned uh, first as an accused. Now he's turned approver in the case. Like Arunima was also pointing out, there are three approvers uh, whose testimony is what seems to be the basis of this case against uh, Sanjay Singh, basis on which uh, this arrest has been made uh, yesterday as well. Uh, Dinesh Arora confirmed from him telephonically receiving a receipt of 2 crore rupees is what uh, the Enforcement Directors Council has now told court as to why this is one of the grounds and uh, the connection needs to be made, Arunima. That's really what the Enforcement Directorates uh, lawyers are telling the court, which is why they want custodial interrogation, isn't it? You know, the point that I was raising uh, that the defense could make is exactly what the court is also asking. As far as Dinesh Arora's statement is concerned, it's not a new statement. ED has been aware of it for the last many months and now even the court is asking, why have you taken so much time when you had the statements? The transaction that you're showing is of August and October 2021. The statements have been recorded in uh, 2023 is what the ED is responding. So even though the ED has been aware of, uh, you know, these transactions, they have gone ahead and taken Sanjay Singh into custody only now and that is what is being questioned uh, by the special court there as to why have you waited for so long but ED is responding to say that we have recorded this is a 164 statement uh, of, of uh, the accused turned approver which means this is a statement which is admissible evidence in a court of law this was also a question that was legally raised that is this hearsay just because an accused who is now turned an approver makes an allegation can it be treated as substantive evidence or is it just hearsay so to that also, ED's uh, legal team has said that this is evidence admissible in court of law because the due process of law has been followed while uh, recording it. And uh, what they're saying is that this statement which they're citing was recorded only in 2023. Right, the information is trickling in from inside the court premises there where the hearing is underway. The Enforcement Directors Council is the first one to argue its case. We are going to be seeing counter-arguments coming to the fore from uh, Sanjay Singh's counsel as well.